I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. We have new information in on Hurricane Delta. This is based on the 11 p.m. advisory on Tuesday night from the National Hurricane Center. The storm has actually weakened a little bit. Earlier we had maximum sustained winds of 145 miles an hour. Now we're getting winds of 130 miles an hour, moving west-northwest at 16 miles an hour. That is still a Category 4 storm. It is going to be moving closer to the Yucatan Peninsula here, impacting uh, Cancun and Cozumel. Uh, most likely still is a Category 4 storm that's going to be overnight and early in the morning. As it interacts with land for a brief period here, it goes back to a Category 3, and then that'll be for Wednesday and also on Thursday. And then late Thursday, it becomes a Category 4 again as it starts curving up toward the Gulf Coast region. We do think it may weaken a little bit to a Category 3 storm before landfall, uh, just because of some shear in the atmosphere that might kind of weaken it a little bit. Also some cooler water here in the northern parts of the Gulf. That's with 125 mile an hour winds Friday at 8 p.m. So late night Friday into early Saturday, a landfall. Still a tropical storm as it moves north of Jackson, Mississippi on Saturday evening. And then with that trajectory here is a tropical storm here and then a tropical depression up into uh, Tennessee on Sunday evening. We are on the right hand side and in that right front quadrant here, we're going to see some rain moving in for Saturday and the Sunday. We will have the potential for storms and also the potential for some wind moving into our area too. We don't think it's going to be bad wind, but maybe 10 to 20 mile an hour winds with some higher gusts. So here's the storm. You can see as it moves inland, we're dry Thursday, a few clouds. Uh, Friday, a few more clouds. I think we'll stay dry here on Friday with a lower rain chance later in the day. Then as this moves inland, it starts spreading moisture our way. Saturday, looking pretty soggy here. Again, that potential for storms. I think that storm risk will be higher late Saturday into early on Sunday. As this moves up toward the north, this is Sunday, still really wet here. Uh, you know, we're talking one to two inches of rain possible. It's not gonna be flooding rain or anything based on what we're seeing now. And then scattered showers into Monday and also on Tuesday. We can all sh also show you what we're watching with those wind threats. You can see those winds really along the Gulf Coast region at landfall, even impacting much of the Florida Panhandle here with 20 to 30 mile an hour winds there. The highest winds, of course, near the eye of the storm. But you can see those winds as they weaken coming northward. Watch here in Atlanta. You see the blues showing up here for Sunday. That's showing generally 10, maybe 20 mile an hour winds with some higher gusts at times for Sunday. And then Monday, that all starts to weaken. Also watching the rain chance is possible here. Uh, that moves along, the higher rain chances move along with the low. But again, we'll see those green colors indicating one to two inches of rain. And if that track shifts any, we can see some higher rainfall amounts. So we're gonna keep you posted on new advisories, new computer model data coming in, and let you know if that changes any potential impacts for us.